Well, they're designed to help safeguard your identity when you use your credit card, talking about those new chips that are embedded inside them, but at least one man says his chip fell off. In tonight's Action Line Consumer Alert, Shawnee Barr explains what the risks are if it happens to you. Almost every credit card nowadays has one of these. It's a chip that's embedded in your credit card that contains encrypted digital data about you. But that same technology could leave you vulnerable to fraud. Recently, a Chicago man claims the chip on his card fell off. So he called his bank, which told him he needed to get a new card with a new number since that chip could be used on another card. Hypothetically, they could forge they, they could forge that onto another card, go to the store, and use it like their own. Um, although I would note, it's extremely difficult to do that. Kelly Uoyoka is president of PAXA, a Hawaii company that specializes in information technology and data security. He says losing the chip is the same as losing your credit card. It would need to be forged, meaning you would need to have a credit card, exact sh shape and size of one, and then be able to put that chip into that forged card, which it, it would take a professional to do that. A spokesperson for the Hawaii Bankers Association says there have been no reports of chips falling off here in Hawaii, and instances of it happening are rare. We always tell consumers, you know, it, it pays to be vigilant when you're dealing with uh, your credit cards, um, your personal information, anything like that. And that's what can lead to um, people getting a hold of your information. To protect yourself, the Hawaii Better Business Bureau suggests paying close attention to the chip on your card. If it's missing or looks damaged, report it to the card issuing agency immediately. Avoid exposing your card to unnecessary wear and tear, and always monitor your credit card and bank statements for any irregularities. Uyoka emphasizes that while this latest incident might have some questioning the new technology, he says it significantly helped protect consumers from fraud. Now, if you have a consumer concern or are interested in becoming an Action Line volunteer, give us a call at 591-0222 weekdays between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or send an email to actionline at khon2.com. Sean Ibarra, KHON2 News.